Hadith from the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, illustrates the importance of protecting the heart and the consequences of neglecting its spiritual needs. On the authority of Abu Abdullah Nu'man ibn Bashir, عن, who said, I heard the Messenger of Allah وسلم, say, Truly, what is lawful is evident. And what is unlawful is evident and in between the two are matters which are doubtful which many people do not know he who guards against doubtful things keeps his religion and honor blameless and he who indulges in doubtful things indulges in fact in unlawful things just as a shepherd who pastures his flock around a preserve will soon pasture them in it. Beware, every king has a preserve, and the things Allah has declared unlawful are his preserves. Beware, in the body there is a flesh. If it is sound, the whole body is sound. And if it is corrupt, the whole body is corrupt. And behold, it is the heart. There is also direct evidence in the Holy Quran where Allah stresses the importance of 
protecting and caring for the heart. Truly, he succeeds that purifies it, and truly he fills that corrupts it. Surah 91, verses 9 to 10. If Muslims are spiritually aware, then they will be behave according to the Sunnah, and as a consequence, the whole of the society will be benefit from their good example. Many of the problems that plague Muslims today can be rectified by cleansing the heart of its impurities. These are not physical impurities, such as black arteries, but rather the spiritual decay of the heart resulting from continued neglect, with no attention being paid to the needs of the heart. There are many laws within the Sharia which are designed to protect both the individual and society at large. However, the behavior of the Sahaba, the companions of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, was guided by their deep spiritual awareness of Islam, as opposed to a superficial adherence to the laws enshrined in the Sharia. If you compare their example to the situation in the world today, it then becomes self-evident that our behavior is based on the needs of the nafs and not on spirituality. Sharia law enables the Islam state to govern the people, but it cannot legislate on how the heart it should behave in any given situation. The condition of the heart can only be altered by the continual Remembrance of Allah Almighty. Thank you.